The U.S. Army revealed on July 18, 2025, a significant expansion plan for its air defense infrastructure, aiming to deploy up to four new Patriot missile battalions. This move comes in response to intensifying missile and aerial attack risks across various regions and is intended to alleviate the strain on the Army's current Patriot units. One of the newly established battalions will be specifically assigned to Safeguard Guam, an essential node in the U.S. Indo-Pacific Missile Shield. This deployment aligns with the Army's broader push to modernize its defense capabilities rapidly. Central to this upgrade is the integration of cutting-edge radar systems and the implementation of advanced command and control platforms. A key component of this shift is the introduction of the LTAMDS, Lower Tier Air and Missile Defense Sensor, which will be integrated into both existing and upcoming Patriot configurations. The goal is not just improved detection and range but a sweeping doctrinal shift toward a decentralized, highly networked air defense posture. The Patriot system, a long-established asset in the U.S. arsenal, combines radar tracking, centralized command units, and kinetic interceptors to defend against a wide spectrum of aerial threats. A recent real-world demonstration of its effectiveness came in Qatar, where a Patriot battery successfully neutralized incoming missiles aimed at al Udiyat Air Base. Initially fielded in the 1980s, the Patriot system has evolved to meet modern challenges and remains the air defense backbone for both U.S. and Allied forces. The system includes a multifunctional radar, N-MPQ-53 or N-MPQ-65, mounted on mobile platforms, capable of electronic countermeasures and friend or foe identification. The command post, N-MSQ-104, calculates firing solutions and coordinates missile engagements. Each battery typically deploys M901 launchers that carry either 4-pack, 2 missiles or up to 16-pack 3s. The Pack 2 variant is 5.8 meters long, weighs nearly a ton, and delivers a 90 kg warhead over 70 km. In contrast, the Pack 3 is optimized for direct impact kills, trading explosive payload for precision and speed. Mounted on M983 HEMTT trucks with M860 trailers, the entire system is designed for rapid mobility. Each unit also includes its own power source and communications array, ensuring it can operate autonomously or as part of a larger network. Its ability to track and engage multiple targets simultaneously has made it a central component of the U.S. layered missile defense strategy. The transition to LTAMDS marks a leap forward in radar performance. Unlike the 270-degree field of the older models, OTAMS provides continuous 360-degree coverage, significantly improving tracking capabilities against advanced threats like low-flying cruise missiles and hypersonic projectiles. Its enhanced vertical and lateral range, reaching up to 85 kilometers in every direction, gives commanders more flexibility to anticipate and counterattacks. Paired with the Integrated Battle Command System, IBCS, this radar upgrade allows for more modular and distributed battalion formations. Units can now be deployed more broadly across the battle space without requiring additional manpower, effectively doubling the reach and coverage of existing formations. This shift also changes how air defense assets are tactically employed, enabling greater integration with other service branches and assets in joint operations. Recent live-fire trials at White Sands Missile Range confirmed that LTAMDS meets its design specifications. Two successful test launches under operational conditions validated its performance and cleared the way for broader deployment across the force. Strategically, the Army is embedding air defense deeper into its multi-domain operations model. This approach coordinates ground, air, and maritime capabilities in unified responses to fast-evolving threats. Instead of relying on static defenses alone, air defense assets will now play an active role in supporting maneuver warfare and deterring enemy aggression. Through these changes, expanding Patriot battalions, fielding new radars, and implementing networked command systems, the Army is restructuring its entire air defense framework. This transformation is critical to maintaining a technological and tactical edge in a security environment increasingly dominated by complex and overlapping aerial threats.